What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Colossal Sports TV, back with another video. Former undisputed junior welterweight champion Terrence Bud Crawford says the 10-month layoff has done his body good ahead of his June 9th clash with WBO welterweight champion Jeff the Hornet Horn um, taking place June 9th. And we all know that Terrence Crawford has been very active throughout his career. He's fought, I mean, in Dungo, Gamboa, Beltron, um, what's my man name from the, the, the 140 guy uh, from Puerto Rico, Delorme. I mean, he can fought some of everybody, you know what I'm saying? Postal, you name it. He's been very active, very active. And this has been his longest layoff um, of his career. Um, it'll be 10 months by the time he steps in the ring with Jeff Horn. But he said that you know, the layoff has done his body well, you know. Um, he says a lot of guys fight and fight and fight and all of a sudden start to get injured, has a lot of aches and pains. And he's 30 years old, so he's getting up there in age. I mean, not like that, but he's 30 years old. So the body is definitely different from when you're 25, you know what I'm saying, 20, 25 years old. And now that he's in his 30s, you know, he felt that, you know, the, the layoff did his body wonders. You know, he kind of could decompress a little bit from boxing, get his mind off of things, do stuff with the family. He didn't say all this. I'm just paraphrasing it and, and pretty much filling in the gaps. You know, when you're out of, uh, out of the ring for 10 months um, after fighting so often, uh, it could do one or two things. It can make you very, very, very rusty or it can recharge you and you still be sharp as ever. He feels that he has the skills um, the mindset to make the proper adjustments and it also helps the type of opponent he has in front of him he has a guy who is not a mover he's not overly fast he's not overly powerful he's very physical he's very rough and rugged and he's very physically strong um, he's not the biggest of punches but you know he's a rough and rugged big welterweight and this is the debut of Terrence Crawford so you got to take all of that into account but the switch hitting um you know crawford is just a phenomenal fighter a phenomenal talent one of the top pound for pound fighters in the world if not number one um and i think that he's going to be just fine when he steps in the ring with uh jeff horn who you got to give credit to i've been saying you got to give credit to uh to for defeating manny pacquiao to become the welterweight wbo champion um you know give him credit for taking this fight even though it was a mandatory you know he could have easily vacated if he didn't really want to fight Crawford or believe that he um, could beat him but he's supremely confident he's ready to go and we like fucking like nine days away we nine days away from the showdown that was supposed to happen in April but it didn't happen in, it's not happening until June due to a, a hand injury that uh, Terrence Crawford sustained so you know, I think this does uh, bode well for Terrence Crawford and doesn't bode as well for um, for Jeff Horn, you know, because now he's fully, he's fully rested, rejuvenated, healed, and he's at his peak. You know, he's winding down a, a, a hard training camp, and he's already the superior skill uh, fighter. And now he's, he's coming up with 10 months rest. I think there's bad news for Jeff Horn. I think he's going to get it in the worst way. But the fights are falling in the ring for a reason. Predictions and all these breakdowns and such are great. But anything can happen once you get in this square circle. And I'm expecting a good fight for, um, from Jeff Horn and Terrence Crawford. And we'll see how it plays out. But if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Hit that post notification bell to get notified every time I upload content. Drop your comments in the comment section below. Shout out to everybody in the movement that's moving with us. Be sure to check out 3kingsboxing.com for your latest and greatest updated, unfiltered, and unbiased boxing news. Report it the way it should be. Until next time, I'm out.